Hello, what's up? How you been? My name is Bogdan. I make this series called Film Stuff, and I was seriously hyped when I saw that the new trailer for Ghost in the Shell is out. Scarlett Johansson is. It's good to be back making these kind of reaction videos because they're cool, they're always easy to make and they're always fun for you guys to watch because you leave me crazy comments. Like, I've, I feel like I've been doing so much other stuff in terms of traveling and vlogging and corporate videos and looking into sponsorship deals and stuff like that and I've not had time to enjoy trailers when they come out. So, without further ado, today we are looking and reacting and uh, maybe a little bit reviewing Ghost in the Shell, mother Yes, welcome to my channel. And with that all being said, and without further ado, let's hit play and watch Ghost in the Shell trailer. Play! Sinister already. This is Major. I'm on site. Wow. That cityscape is so good. No! I'm going in. Oh my god, wait, no, she can't be naked. That's not sort of naked suit! I'm loving the slow motion. This would look so good in 3D. IMAX 2. You are the first of your kind. But you're not invulnerable. Maybe next time you can <sighs> Even as a better. robot. Yeah, let's make a new you. Paramount and DreamWorks SKJ <laughs> presents! They feel connected to something. Connected to something I'm not. But are you? There's a lot of this going on. That's cool. You were dying. We saved you. And now you save others. What? So you were created to save? She can turn invisible! Yes, babe! I don't know who to trust. You trust me, right? There's more of them! I know I have a past. An evil ninja! I'll find out who I was. What was that last scene? Everything they told you was a lie. Who of course you? it was. Robot. They did not save your life. But... They stole it. I love that Illuminati triangle at the end. 2017. Holy shit, that was so good! That was so much better than what I imagined. Like, we knew that this film was gonna happen and we've been waiting for it for quite a few months now, at least to be announced, or at least until we see some realistic narrative trailer form footage, and it, it didn't disappoint. It's your typical sci-fi, super 3D looking thing, kind of reminds me of Doctor Strange, if you've seen that, the, the effects are just as good. And I can see they're taking some sort of Blade Runner influences, especially when they present the city and this whole idea of a robot who might be or might not be believing that they are human or having some sort of human capabilities. There's a good twist at the end, like for one, there was that scene, that, that awful scene, I don't know what's happening there, but I like that they're showing some kind of an evil to the narrative, and at the same time, you thought they were saying your life but they didn't they were stealing it so that brings on like some original sort of moral issues that are gonna be discussed in the film all this aside I hope it's not gonna be one of those blockbusters that is just gonna make its money out of 3d I hope there's gonna be some substance to it it looks like the kind of stuff that could easily turn into a trilogy it looks a little bit different than your typical sci-fi that's going on right now I mean humans on channel 4 based on the Swedish show with the same name is doing really well HBO's West Side is also playing with this notion of robots waking up and knowing what they're capable of. These shows have brought in something new at the time and I'm hoping this is gonna bring like a new wave of robot fiction to the big screens. Honestly, like based on what I saw now, I'm really, really keen to see a lot more. So give this, I don't know, uh, an 8 out of 10. No, like genuinely, I think it's really cool and I'm so glad that I got to see it. It was literally launched like an hour ago and I'm so hyped to be one of the first people to release a uh, reaction and the trailer is really really good so definitely looking out for this one. Amigos and amigues, thank you muchos gracias for watching this video. I haven't made one of these reaction things in a while and I was really looking forward to it. So comment below, fill them up with the answer to this one question. Do you think Ghost in the Shell is gonna try to impress us with CGI or with some kind of super story that is completely original and pfft, man. 
blowing. Hope you've enjoyed this video. There are a bunch of other things that I've reacted to, so you can watch them in my playlist. I also go traveling and I make sketch comedy and I do sponsored content. And uh, generally speaking, if you're new to my channel, then you should browse because there's loads of stuff and funny. Thanks again for watching, guys. Remember to subscribe to my channel, Bogdan Vlogs, and then you will be notified whenever I post something new. And a lot of stuff like this is coming up in the next few months, so there will be a lot of reaction videos here waiting for you. Meanwhile, I'm gonna catch you on a new video. Later! Oscar has loads of stuff to tell us on it, and I'm gonna be here and try to moderate him as he goes out on a full blown mental. It's an analysis. <laughs> Man, why can't I be like Jid? Man, why can't I be like her? Tell me why can't I be like him? Man, that's some bullshit. Count those old ass pennies, I'm a nuisance. So I guess that I just proved it. I'm far from fucking useless. I'm so dumb from talking to facts. All my life been bound in the back. 180 my life when I got in a rap. Hardest hey, baby, wanna get strapped. So, first of all, hello, uh, wherever you're listening from, America, uh, the UK, wherever. This is this is a neutral... Oh, yeah, okay, there we go. There we go, yeah. Just Position ourselves yeah. for the camera, okay. there we go. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so this is going to be a neutral analysis, and it's not judging anyone, because frankly, that it's the last thing we need. Shit in the